Welcome to Rock for Buzz the Podcast. This is Courtney. And I'm Jake. What you been up to, Jacob? Mm, you know, moving and stuff. Moving and stuff? Yeah. That's exciting. It is exciting. Where have... are you moving? Oh, my goodness. Jet and I are combining our household into Leah's. What? what? Crazy. I didn't know about this. It's like merging two database tables. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Yeah. Yes. No, it's good. I have, uh, we're at the stage now, so this is going to be kind of like a long, drawn-out move. It's mm-hmm. not like, uh, you know, oh, let's do it's it on like the weekend. It's not like over a weekend, yeah. Yeah, so I'm at the stage now where I'm kind of like looking around my house, and I'm just like, what's the random thing I can grab? Like, mm-hmm. I'm looking at Swag Cat right now. Swag Cat probably going to come over today. Yeah. Yeah. So downstairs I have, like, paper bag, and it's got, <laughs> you know, because that's what you use when you're just like, I'm going to regard random things. Like, of what course. do I put this in? A uh, paper grocery bag. Paper grocery bag. I have lots of them because Woodman's prefers paper over plastic. And... Uh, yeah, so inside one of these bags is, like, some bookends, uh, like, a mug, uh, a f- picture of some friends and myself and Jet, uh, and, like, a loaf of bread. <laughs> the essentials. Yeah, and another bag is, you know, like, oatmeal and, like, n- the Nintendo. <laughs> Even more essential. Even more essential is the Nintendo. I love that stage of moving, meaning I actually hate that stage of moving. Yeah. I mean, we have a bunch of other, like, large stuff, but as you Mm -hmm. can see, the corner of the office is very empty. I did notice that. I was just looking at that right before you hit the little button up there. Yeah. The printer printer is gone. It is. And when I say gone, I mean it's in my trunk. Uh, One thing I did forget about said printer, Uh it is a heavy SOB. Yes. It's probably the size of my torso. Yeah. It's large. It is. It's quite large. Yeah. And it's very dense. Mm. Filled with mechanical parts. Yeah. And paper, which probably also makes it a little bit heavier. Paper's pretty heavy. Paper is surprisingly heavy. Yeah. hmm Yeah, so our studio is going to look different pretty soon. Yeah. This is going to be at my house. I know. That's going to look very different. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We have yet to talk about this surprise reveal while live recording, but we may not even need a studio. I know. Hmm. I have ideas. Maybe Uh-oh. crock potting up in Uh-oh. here. This, this you know how dangerous that phrase is. Yeah. When Jake says the phrase, never, I have ideas. Oh, gosh. It never ends I'm well. I'm nervous now. Never ends well. <laughs> oh, dear. But hey, one of my slash our slash I don't even remember where exactly came from. It probably came from, where did it come from? I don't know. The polls, like the voting, right? We talked about this. Mm-hmm. And we've like done a few. I like pizza and some other things. But we always use Google Forms. Yep. Well, now people can vote directly inside the Rock for Buzz app <gasps> and the website. All you need is a free account. Call to action placed here. Wow. Yeah. So huh. just go to rockforbuzz.com slash sign up, create a free account, and then you can participate in fun votes, like telling us who your favorite place to get pizza from is. Or you can download the Rock for Buzz mobile app yeah. on the Google Play and Apple App Store. Either and way, you, you need an account. you can sign up for an account that way. Yeah. Because, mm-hmm. you know, like we don't participate in voter fraud, so it's just <laughs> one vote per person. <laughs> This isn't some kind of shoddy popularity contest that may or may not be run by other local outlets here in the greater Rockford region. Like, one vote per person, you got to make a stand. You got to put your foot down. You got to say where you prefer to get insert vote thing of choice here. And then we tally it all up. And by we, I mean the code that I wrote. Uh And then we display the results and then we get to do a random drawing and give away gift cards to from the winning business yes that one. to one of the people that voted for said winning business yes but also if i hear the phrase voter fraud one more time yeah i saw you have a little bit of a conniption there i'm developing an eye twitch <laughs> it first developed over maricopa county i'm like mm. i'm surprised that you say that word so fluently it's because i've heard it so many times the county (sighs) of maricopas (sighs) arizona (laughs) but hey we survived the purge we well it's not over yet okay 60 something odd days so the siren could go off at any moment i just like how but in the midst of the potential purge siren we have christmas music and holidays and will, holiday shopping. Before we get there, I Which just, is our topic. Do you like the it segue? Is, it is. I'm nailing these segues. This lately. one was better than last week's. <laughs> Thank you. But I must say that it was very funny that since Election Day is on the first Tuesday of the month that we had the sirens going off and everybody's making purge jokes on oh, the internet. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. That was a good one. 
Sometimes I really love the internet. That was Sometimes. one of those times. Yeah. The internet produces things like Swag Cat. This is true. Yeah. This is true. Love I feel like, cat. you know what? I'll be right back. <laughs> I know. We just keep... We keep referencing... Keep looking over at Swag Cat. We keep Swag looking it. over and referencing Swag, Swag Cat. Up there. But, you know, for those that have never witnessed the glory of Swag Cat, I don't have like a central hook, so I hope that this works and we don't have a problem here. About to find out. It's fine. It'll just be crooked. It'll I hope none crooked. of the... Oh. You can't even you see You can't it. even like see Swag Cat. Ah. We're like running... There. There. Swag cat. That is swag cat. <laughs> face detect doesn't recognize swag cat as oh. having a face. But that's all right. Not even cool. It's glorious. I framed it in like a super nice like as you should frame. Because swag cat. I literally printed it with my laser jet printer. <laughs> Good. And then and then framed it in like a fifteen dollar frame. It's fine. Yes. So all of that being said, our topic today is Christmas and Thanksgiving and winter holidays and shopping and stuff that comes along with that. Because I had to go out the other day because yesterday was my dad's birthday. And I noticed that everywhere, since we are past Halloween now, is just decked out in Christmas decorations. And I keep seeing on the television advertisements for Christmas shopping and gifts that you should buy people. And I'm like... (sighs) First of all, advertisers, uh, do you not side. realize we are in the middle of 2020 in, in a global pandemic? How do you expect me to buy somebody a car? Hmm. I mean, sure, you or I or the average American citizen, but let me just say Wall Street has been fine through all of this. Yeah, we're not talking about them. We don't care about them. <laughs> we, we don't care about them, but I'm just saying, like, those car adverts are designed for those We don't those care about them. This is a local podcast. <laughs> there are local auto dealerships here in town. Oh, I know. There's Blue Back Road. I know. There's Jack Wolf. I know. I haven't seen There's any of their commercials. There's other smaller, you know, to be used fair, car, car lots that are Their commercials haven't been operating. driving me bonkers. Mm. It's these, like, your typical Kia commercial and stuff like that. I don't know why I singled them out. I'm sorry if you drive a Kia. <laughs> She's not sorry at all. I'm not. She's super judging you right now. Probably. I don't even know why. I don't have anything against Kia. You don't have anything against Kia? Mm-mm. But, yeah, I've seen all this stuff all over the place. And, I'm like, a lot of people this year can't afford to buy as many gifts as maybe they want to or normally have before. Sure. Us included yep. in all that. Because, again, global pandemic. We're still in it. Wear your masks, wash your hands, please. Uh, yeah, so I, <laughs> this is what happens when we record in the afternoon instead of the morning like we usually do. I have more energy to be weird like that. To people. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, so holiday shopping people. is a thing. I mean, virtual people, lens peopling, yeah. peopling through the camera. Or microphone, depending on how you're taking this in. But, yeah, so I thought we could talk about different like gift ideas or holiday ideas for things that we could do this. This is super timely as I just wrote a very short article for Winnebago by Local. Did you? About how to support local businesses during the holiday shopping season. It hasn't been approved yet, so it might get ripped to shreds by the rest of the board. Maybe. So for people who don't know, what is Winnebago by Local? Winnebago by Local is a local uh, 503c6 nonprofit organization that supports grassroots homegrown businesses here in Winnebago County. Wow. Yeah. Did you like that? I did. I did the ad read straight from memory. Uh, no, it's uh, it's a nonprofit. I've been a volunteer board member for coming up on six years. Actually, it'll be six years next month. Oh, my gosh. I know. Oh, my goodness. That's but, longer than we've known each other. Uh, yeah. It's been a minute, but we, uh, we being Winnebago by Local, we advocate for local small businesses. Um, like, we have our local holiday market, which is a lot of fun, but unfortunately will not be happening this year for mm-hmm. obvious reasons. Um, so we do education and... Um, advocacy for local small businesses here in town, just trying to get people to buy local. In Winnebago County. In Winnebago County. Which is where we are. Specifically. So, yeah, great nonprofit. And they asked me to write an article because I wrote one, uh, like, around the COVID times when that all first started and it went well. But so I gave five tips. That was uh, almost a year ago now. It feels like it. It was, yeah, a solid decade. uh, Yeah. So, This year has been about 10 years long, so. Hmm. (laughs) <laughs> do you want to 
play spoiler and say what your five tips were? Oh, I totally will spoil it. Okay. That, and also then it goes on the record. So if they rip my article apart, my five <laughs> points still get out there into the world. That's true. You can't stop me, executive That's director. That's true. Oh, calling you out. Calling you out, ED. Not that she would. <laughs> Lauren's great. Yes. But... Uh, I wasn't no. gonna name her. In no, case I, I'm you dropping were names. Throw her um, under so the if bus you go, here. if you go and read the article, and you're like, "These are not the five tips that Jake gave," it's because edits were made by Lauren <laughs> and other board members. But yes. so my five tips are one to go make a list. So go to check it twice. Yeah, check it twice. See who's naughty. See who's nice. But um, it always like I don't know about you, Courtney, but for <laughs> me, like sometimes a local business will just pop out of my head and be like, "Oh, it's been a while since I've been there." Yeah. I should go support them. And I imagine if it happens to me, it may or may not be happening to other people. So I thought, you know what? Lists are handy items to help keep one organized. They really are. And to make sure that things that pop in your head randomly can get down into the real world so they don't just flitter away into the abyss, mm -hmm. not prefer, to be remembered when you're out doing your Christmas shopping. I prefer a good old-fashioned handwritten list as opposed to a digital list. Mm, bullet journals for the win. Yes. Yes. 100%. I have converted you. You have. <laughs> With converted. my bullet journal gospel. Plus, you can keep them in your car, so you just always see it. I have two tiny ones. You do. One for client notes, and then the other one for Rock for Buzz brainstormy mm -hmm. things. And checklists and little illustrations lists and mock ups. are important. And lists are great. Use a yeah. bullet journal, it will change your life. Mm -hmm. uh, so make a list, check it twice, uh, and then go through your list and go and follow those people on social media. So, Very holiday important. shopping is going to be a little different for everyone. Mm -hmm. Some places have gone to online only, some are limiting hours, some are limiting capacity, some are limiting hours and capacity. Uh, some have different products uh, than they did in previous years. So if you're used to walking in and seeing like a whole smorgasbord of shotchkis and fun items, they may not be able to do that this year. Mm -hmm. um, and they may be running a tighter, limited supply of some of your favorite things because small businesses can't be affording to waste money right now. So head on over to the book of faces and the grams that are instant and like and follow your favorite local businesses. That Plus you a support. lot of them run specials throughout the season too. They do. They'll post all of their like holiday sales mm -hmm. and their specials and like all the things that as holiday shoppers we all look for to save a buck so we can get more things for the people that we love. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I love a good sale. Mm. Can't go wrong with a good Especially sale. Especially this year. Sales are where it's at. It is <laughs> indeed. Um, and so, uh, yep, so staying in the know, super important. Mm -hmm. uh, my third tip was to be respectful. So, and my fourth tip is to be patient. They all okay. kind of tie in together. Yes. But obviously shopping is going to look a lot different for all of us. Uh, so that whole, like, I'm just going to run into this place real quick may not be a real quick type of experience. Uh, when you get there and you are trying to social distance, mm -hmm. um, but somebody is standing in front of the shelf with the thing uh, that you're trying to get, but you gotta wait for them to move so you can get it, right? Uh, so just being respectful, like our local small businesses did not make the rules that are in place, but they are tasked with enforcing them. And they want to stay open and yep. we want them to stay open. So we have to keep them safe so they can keep us safe so then they can stay open so we can Go and buy their wonderful things yes, and support them. Exactly. And that kind of dovetails into the whole patience thing. Yes. A lot of small businesses have been hit very, very hard. Mm -hmm. And they've had to make staff cuts because of it. So it might take them a little bit longer to ring people out at the checkout line to get to you, to help you in the event that you have a question or need some assistance. Mm -hmm. um, and Or even to get to messages online. They may have staff that they just hired back that they had to furlough for mm -hmm. months. Uh, so everyone's a little rusty. Um, and even just something as simple as like, yeah, replying to a Facebook message or answering the phone might take a little bit longer than usual. So the last thing that small business owners needs right now is disrespectful and impatient people, mm -hmm. um, stressing them out during an already stressful time. Because so, let's be real, you and I are lucky to not work in a retail space because that is absolutely nuts during the holidays. Let me tell you, I did three Black Fridays at Best Buy yeah. back in like the heyday of Best Buy mm -hmm. uh, in like 2005, like four, five, six, seven. Um, and yeah. Did you witness any fights? Uh, I did not witness fights. We did mm. barricade the computer department, though, with large appliances from yeah. the warehouse. So like we ran a pretty tight ship. 
Um, and people were, like, for the most part, like, really respectful. That's there good. wasn't any stampeding mm-hmm. or anything. But we also, like, ran a really tight mm-hmm the regulated system in terms of like people coming in, people going out, what you're limited to, what the shopping experience is like. Mm-hmm. So I feel like this year is probably going to be very much like that, even on a smaller scale, because you can only have so many people in the in the store at any given time. You got to maintain social distancing, but you're still trying to provide a good customer service experience. So small business owners have a lot to juggle right now. They so do. any token of kindness you can throw their way goes a long way and Mm -hmm. would be much appreciated. And then the fifth, last but not least, tell a friend. Yes. Tell your friends and family the importance of shopping local this year. Um, You know, it's every local business owner that I talk to, uh, they always quote word of mouth as being their best form of advertisement. Mm -hmm. Um, But that means that they rely on us to be that megaphone, Mm -hmm. that word of mouth for them. So... Um, you know, just encouraging your friends and family. If you hear that they're going to hop on Amazon or wait until Cyber Monday or whatever, maybe just encouraging them a little bit to just like a kindly shove in on, the correct direction. You know, yeah. And what's cool is that a lot of our local businesses have moved to online yeah. sales, so they've launched online stores or added, you know, carryout components, and they post stuff to their Facebook page but there's a lot of contactless ways of shopping and supporting local businesses now i've also noticed a lot of them also do free local delivery if not all the time they have specials where they'll do it right so if you like getting the amazon prime free delivery check out your favorite local places they might be doing free delivery yep or they do like curbside where they just bring it out to you Mm -hmm. and load up your trunk um or another thing is gift cards yes gift cards are an amazing technology um, you can't really go wrong for our, in terms of gifting them. They may not be as extravagant as opening up a large wrapped box, but Put you can take your gift card inside of a large box and then wrap it. I've done it. Or you can do what I did to my cousins one year and like Russian nesting doll those boxes about tenfold. Fantastic. Yes. And then not only that, but like place them in an envelope and mm-hmm. then like duct tape the inside of all the boxes, mm. but then hide the envelope inside of one of the duct taped boxes. Beautiful. That is a... A plus troll job right yes, there. Yes, thank you. It took them a while. It's one of those things that you only do like once every decade or so because yeah, yeah. it gets old real fast. But if you're going to do it, now's the year now's to do it. Now's the year to do now's it. Now's the year for your gift card <laughs> shenanigry. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, we always preach shopping local and supporting local businesses, but I feel like this year especially it's more important than ever. Yeah, 100%. Um, we've all seen Main Street take a beating this year mm-hmm. with covid uh, and a lot of places are just doing what they can to survive. Uh, and so every you might be thinking like, oh, I'm only going to buy like a $5 stocking stuffer or I'm only going to spend, you know, 10 bucks or whatever. It makes a huge but difference. It makes a big difference. Like those little five, ten, twenty dollar $20 sales mm-hmm. like add up and they make a difference. Like. Um, and like we even see it with our business, right? Yeah. Like with our backer program, it's two bucks here, it's five bucks there. But like that adds up to the point where it, you know, mostly funds our coffee addiction mm-hmm. at this point. Or a shirt or a hoodie like Jacob's wearing oh, over here. Oh, I didn't even mean this to watching. be a shameless plug Oh, I segment, saw it and had to go for it. But man, you just can't resist the shameless I plug can't. these days. I can't. Yeah. They do make it's for like great addiction. gifts and the holidays are coming up if you haven't heard. <laughs> <laughs> In case you haven't heard that for the last 18 minutes, the holidays are indeed coming up. Yeah. I do have to say, though, as much as I enjoy supporting local businesses and the holiday shopping experience, I grieve the forgottenness of Thanksgiving that comes with us. Thanksgiving cannot be forgotten. <laughs> Thanksgiving Never forget Thanksgiving. Must- also be celebrated. And we have a bunch of local bakeries that are making pies, cookies, and all all of those we have local deli shops where you can get sides yeah. and turkeys and hams and all of those things so Look, even when it comes to your 2020 you know exhausting. nearly forgotten holiday yeah. of thanksgiving nobody wants to cook that whole meal it has been an exhausting year support local get some baked goods they'd be better than i could make that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> go to your local delis um and order food that way I don't know. Maybe some people do gifts for Thanksgiving. My family's never been one to do Thanksgiving gifts. I've never even heard of that as being a thing. But you know what? If you are one of those families that gives gifts for Thanksgiving, Mm -hmm. let us know. Yes, please do. I would love to know what it is that you give. Me too. 
You know what? You know, I... there's some kind of like classics when it comes to Christmas stocking right. stuffers. You know, like the orange at the, like the bottom of the toe, uh-huh. right? Maybe that was just my family, but that was something that was counted on at the grandparents like every Christmas morning. Um, but when it comes to what are the you know traditional Thanksgiving gifts? Oh, I think maybe either. I feel like that's kind of just like a blending of two holidays. Probably. I feel like you could go with some sort of uh, dishware, like maybe a coffee mug to drink coffee on Thanksgiving or a wine glass if your family is wine drinkers. You could is this do another like a... shameful plug? Are you shameful plugging this We here? don't have a wine glass, but we do have a coffee mug. And we have pint glasses. We have pint glasses. Bam! Your, shameless plug number two. If your family drinks beer. We're almost at a hat trick. <laughs> If you want to carry around all of those things and oh make it easy, God. we have a drawstring bag. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. There it is. There is our shameful, shameless plug hat yes. trick for the episode. Shameful or shameful, shameless. shameless. Depends on the day. Yeah. Yeah. It depends on how we're mm-hmm. feeling that day. Do you have any other gift suggestions for the winter holidays coming up? Uh, gift suggestions? Yeah. Hmm. I mean... I don't know. It just kind of depends, right? Like Mm -hmm. finding that perfect gift for that perfect someone. We've mentioned at length in previous episodes how there are like numerous bountiful hobby shops Mm -hmm. in and around Rockford. So you can find a local option uh, for just about anything that anyone is into. Absolutely. Uh, You can never go wrong with, you know, beer or wine from a local brewery or winery. And Prairie Street has new holiday beers coming out that they're going to start canning on December 7th. I just watched your video today. Hey, hey, the one where (laughs) Reed couldn't remember all the holiday beers that are coming out. That was great. He's like, you're going to cut that out, right? And I was like, no, I'm not. (laughs) I'm keeping it all in. (laughs) Um, or if your uh, favorite person has a sweet tooth, there is Sugar Britches up in Rockton. Mm-hmm. Um, Dairy House is selling quarts of ice cream all over town. Um, you might want to be like mindful of the timing if you're going to gift ice cream, though, or else that could go a little, little if messy, a little south there pretty quick. If it's like last year when it was warm for Christmas, if your family celebrates Christmas, I mean, geez, it'd be perfect for ice cream. Yeah. There we go. It was like, what, 60 (laughs) degrees last year? It was crazy. I was wearing a short sleeve shirt. It was a little ridiculous. That's just unheard of. Uh, Bella Luna is still taking special orders. They don't have their storefront anymore, but they are still taking orders for baked goods. Yeah. So that's a good way to go. Halo Cupcake, always a good option. There's like lots of places, lots of things. So whether it's food or beverages Mm -hmm. of the alcoholic, non-alcoholic, caffeinated or non-caffeinated variety, or gifts. Yeah. Um, I there's don't know even about you, but I'm gift somebody... shops with little touch keys yeah. and fun things like Culture Shock and Butler's Emporium and Wolf Hollow. Wolf Hollow. I'm somebody who also likes experiences mm. as well as just like your typical stocking stuff or whatever gift. So I was thinking you could even um, go pay a visit to Top Cut or somebody buy a brand new board game and then your whole family can just enjoy a board game night. I see now you're speaking my language. There you go. Boom. And you can even order food from a local restaurant while you do so. It doesn't have to be on Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate, but you could buy the board game and then plan something or have it be a weekly thing like you have with your friends. Weekly yes. board game night. Yep. You could do something like that. Nicholas Conservatory is always lit up for the holidays, so you could plan a nice little stroll through there with somebody. Um, Let's just say the possibilities are endless. They really are. And you can all start that endless train of possibilities by going to rockforbuzz.com slash places and perusing <laughs> our local business directory. Boom. Bam. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. plug. <laughs> no, seriously, though, we have like 1,300 businesses in yeah, our directory right now. There's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's, and you can filter by category. So you if sure you're looking can. for like beauty or hobby mm-hmm. or fitness or bar and restaurant or whatever, let and there's an say, events list. There's a so lot. if you want to go out and do something, there's events going on. There are. Yeah, there are some. Yeah. There are limited events going on. There so. sure are. So yeah, the holidays are coming up. We wanted to record this. It's about a week or so in advance of Thanksgiving. Let's see. It'll come out next week because we're recording this in advance, which will be the week before. Yes. Next week is Thanksgiving. <laughs> next week is Thanksgiving. <laughs> and then Time travel. from there, we go into the winter holidays. So... 
we thought we'd put some little ideas in your brain. We'll have other stuff that comes out in the meantime, of course. But thank you so much for tuning into this. Thank you. Hope it was helpful to give you some ideas. Yes. And thank you very much to our wonderful business sponsors. You see scrolling at the bottom of the screen if you are watching the video version of this. And a special thank you to our Rockford Fuzz backers. It is because of all of your guys' support that... Jake and I are able to sit here and talk to you about the wonderful things that go on here in Rockford. Yes. Your support warms our little hearts. It does. Keeps us warm yes. in the cold nights. Exactly. Which are definitely coming They're up definitely because it's upon like 30-something degrees today. Let and me tell cold. you, I shot a video outside right before I came Oof. here. And like the little metal like top handle for my ah, camera. yeah. I Chilly. forgot how cold that thing gets. How fast. Like one hand, totally fine. Hand holding the camera, not so fine. Yeah. Not Gloves good. are coming. Yes, so thank you for all of your love because it keeps us warm during yes. this horrible, horrible cold season. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you all for tuning in. We appreciate your support so very much, and we will catch you all next week. Bye. Bye.